Austin, what do you think the biggest lesson you learned from Coach K was? Ooh, you're not as good as what you think you are. That was a big thing for me coming in. I came in there a big hot shot. Thought I knew everything. Um, uh, listen, I'll be honest with you. Without rambling, I up until that point, prior to that, everything had been pretty easy for the kid. I, I was a, you know, you grew up privileged. I grew up with a father who had everything that I needed. Uh, I didn't have the other worries and concerns that other players had, so all I had to do was just work on my game. I lived in the gym. Then I became the number one player in, like, sixth grade and held that title all the way through my senior year, always up in the top five. So everything was easy. I go to Duke, and then I got this guy in my face, like, you ain't that good, man. Like you, He's like, you're not as good as you think you are. He's like, I've, I've coached better. I remember he told me that. I was just like, man, who are you talking yeah. to? He's like, I'm talking <laughs> to you. And that, it was like a reset button in my eyes. I'm like, oh, shit. And he used to talk to me crazy in practice. Uh, we had a practice one time. We had Spike Lee there, pay man. And he'd always invite celebrities to our practice. Yeah. Just drilling me in front of them. Just, just, just all me, the all practice. Showing out. Just talking crazy to Showing me. Showing out. And I'm just like, man, why, why are you doing this? He didn't like, after practice, he came up to me. He goes, I want you to meet me in my office in 20 minutes. I, I got like tears in my eyes. I want to, I want to like fight this dude. And at the time, you can't do that. Now you got the transfer portal and NIL, all these college players. <laughs> it's like a little NBA now. Like, you don't even right. have to. Back then, if you wanted to make the pros, you had to get out in his good graces. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, had to really yeah. take stuff yeah. from a college program. Yeah. You couldn't just move and transfer yeah. without sitting out a year. Yeah. So, and I wasn't going to sit out. I was supposed to be one and done. So I'm sitting here like, man, how's this guy? I go to my office. He goes, you came to, you came to our scrimmage 15 minutes before. He goes, who, who the fuck you think you are? I say, well, he said, why, why do you think you've done something? He, said, he just talked to me that way all the time. I eventually turned that that ego I had off and was able to start seeing like, yo, you are so much farther from a finished product. Like you, you have so much work to do. You're so much, you could be so much better. And I didn't, in that time, again, everything I had done worked for me. Everything was so easy. That threw me back. And it took me a little bit of time, but by mid season, that's why you see a jump in my game. My first like seven, eight games at Duke was like, you know, whatever. After that, then I started putting like 20 a night. Yeah. I started to understand these concepts and I started learning to listen. Like, listen to him. Because up until that point, the only person I listened to was my father yeah. on basketball. I had to really turn that into something else, and that helped me. That was my biggest lesson I learned there. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.